Well, it's the middle of December and we're ready for our November market report for Lakewood Ranch. So if you'd like to know what's going on here, pricing, inventory, those kind of things, stick around. I have all the details coming right up. Hello, it's Mark Bain, Big Michael Saunders and Company. And in this channel, Living in Lakewood Ranch, we cover all the areas around Lakewood Ranch from Sarasota up to Bradenton and from Anna Maria Island down to Siesta Key. So I hope you get value out of these videos. And if you do, just click that little subscribe button and ding the little bell. So today, today is the uh, day for the market report. We have all of our numbers in for November. And I have had some comments in the past as why am I producing a market report for November when we're actually in December. And the reason is, is because we don't get those final numbers until about the about the end of the first full week or second week of the next month before those numbers are tallied. So today we're going to cover uh, what's going on here in Lakewood Ranch. How are the prices? One of our biggest questions uh, are that we get on a, almost a weekly basis is are the prices going down? So today we're going to cover all those topics. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to take a look at some numbers for what is the amount of homes that we actually have on the market, how many have sold, and how many have gone pending. So for November, we had a total of 144 homes on the market for sale in Lakewood Ranch, 55 sold, and 40 of those went pending or went under contract. Now, how does that compare from the previous year? So if you look right here, you can see that in November of 21, Today we had, or this past month, we had 144. We only had 34 homes for sale on the market. And this past month we had 55 that sold. Back then we had 93 that were sold. Now, how can we have only 34 and 93 sold? Well, that's because they came on and off the market within a relatively short amount of time. And then we had 40 that went pending. And last year at this time, we had 74 that went pending. The next thing we want to look at is how are the prices? Are the prices actually starting to decline or are they re remaining relatively stable? So you can see from here our chart and it might be difficult to see these numbers, but our average sale price right here for last month was $363 a square foot. And that was down slightly from 369, but a little bit above the 353 mark. So you can see from April, um, we were at 355 in May. It looked like we were at our peak of 374 average price per square foot. So the prices are remaining relatively stable here in Lakewood Ranch. The next thing we want to cover is what about uh, list price to sell price and how many days are they staying on the market before they are sold? So you can tell right here, our homes are selling at an average of about 92% of the list price. So Previously from last year, uh, those were selling at about 100% of list price. As a matter of fact, you can see right here, they were over list price at 105%. And then what about the number of days on market? Well, right now it's taken about 39 days to sell a home here in Lakewood Ranch. So as our inventory increases, so does the days on market because then the buyers have more opportunities for different properties. They're not limited to a few. Next on our list is what is the list price and what are they selling for typically in Lakewood Ranch? Well, what we're looking at here is it looks like the average list price for a home when it comes on the market is a little over a million dollars. And then what is it selling for? They're selling around 849,000. So that's all the houses that have sold with an average list price of $849,000. That doesn't have anything to do with the list price to sell price ratio. And then the last thing we want to take a look at is what about the inventory? How much inventory do we have in Lakewood Ranch? Well, right here, you can see we have about 2.6 months supply. And back on, um, looks like September of 91, we only had a half a month. And then in December, we only had three tenths of a month. So the inventory is definitely increasing. Now, on this particular uh, program that we use here called Trend Graphics, um, on the actual site, if I clicked on this, it would say that they figure that the um, seller's market is up to when you have inventory that's three months or less, and then a neutral market is three to six months, and then when you get over six months, it becomes a buyer's market. So th there's a little bit of a, a difference of opinion on some of the uh, popular websites and some of the popular uh, marketing analysis platforms, but typically when you get to about four to five months, you are in more to a balanced market. So in other words, we have enough homes uh, to supply the number of buyers that we have here. 
So I'm going to put a link down in the description below. If you'd like to get a copy of this full report, you'll be uh, have access to it. And if you find yourself coming to the Lakewood Ranch area and you would like some help uh, finding the right home, or if you're currently living here in Lakewood Ranch and are considering selling your home, I'd be honored to help you out. Mark Bamig, Michael Saunders and Company.